with the contact with the irons that like topping or thinning is like the biggest issue yeah yeah okay yeah it's a big it's a big miss for me to be in the fairway i have a shot like an approach shot to the green and i just hit the top of the ball and it just it rolls 10 10 15 yeah, yards okay so, so we'll probably focus on that then today okay. mostly that would be great that'd be good okay that'd cool. be fantastic start with the hands and weight forward keep them there move it more there hit the ground lengthen the arc Okay. Wait forward, hit the ground, lengthen the arc like this. Now from this spot, I want you to feel like you go from 60 to 70, 80, 90. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So all of you is like, holy cow, Eric, I feel like I'm leaning way forward. Yeah. So I'm gonna pull towards me, you kind of hold back a little bit. Yeah, like feel that stretch. This is what this should feel like in the follow through. Okay. So very, very stretched out. Okay. Wait more forward on the way down, long arc follow through. Beautiful. How'd that feel? That felt great. Come on. Great job with the setup. Awesome. That's how you get rid of tops and thins, dude. All right. My game right now is, you know, I feel like I've watched a couple videos here and there trying to pick things up and I'm definitely much better than I was two years ago. Oh, yeah. But my biggest struggle is consistency. Okay. You know, I'll have a round where I shoot great and it's I'm hitting clean, easy shots and they're going straight and they're they're great. And then I'll have a round that it's like every single shot I'm hitting is the top of the ball and it's rolling 10 yards. So it's okay. so it's really round the round consistency is my biggest struggle. Um, and then just going from there and just kind of keeping my head straight too is also because mm. I struggle a lot with like if I start a round great, I'll be good. Mm -hmm. But if the moment I have like one hole where I'm like, oh, man, I'm like really doing bad here, it's, it's, going, downhill. Yeah, it's going downhill from there. And so. so with the contact with the irons that like topping or thinning is like the biggest issue. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's a big, it's a big miss for me to be in the fairway. I have a shot, like an approach shot to the green and I just hit the top of the ball and it just, it rolls 10, 10, 15 yeah, yards. Okay. So, so we'll probably focus on that then today. Okay. Mostly. That would be great. That'd be good. Okay. That'd cool. be fantastic. For you guys that are watching I and mean, Owen for you in terms of contact and thins, one of the big things is weight distribution. So when I'm taking my setup position, let's say this stick here, which is kind of just straight on with the golf ball line. Let's say I put that in, in, uh, in between my feet. When I take my setup, the more to the right that I have my weight this way at any point in the swing, the more my club's going to want to either bottom out behind the ball or miss the ground altogether. So what can happen when my weight's back is the club actually can low point back here the bottom of the arc's back on the ball. And then I actually hit it a little bit on the way up. Oh, okay. And so I'm hitting like the middle of the ball with the bottom part of the club. Right. The more my weight is forward at any point, but especially during the downswing, the more my club head's gonna wanna hit down, hit the ball first, I'm exaggerating here. Right. And hit the ground out here in front of the golf ball. Right, it would help more of a descending blow. Right. So weight distribution's a big, big part of it. And then the other variable too we have is shaft location. So the more back my shaft goes like this, the more that I'm gonna hit the ball more on the bottom part of the club, low point behind the ball, the more my shaft's forward, the more I can hit the ball in the middle part of the face. So I would correlate here, and for you guys watch, if you struggle with like thins, top shots, et cetera, weight forward, handle forward, or hands forward. And part of that starts at setup. Right. So if I wanted to like make sure I hit the ground every time and hit it solid, I would start probably even a little more on my left like 60 on my left, 40 on my right. Okay. And the hands could be a little more forward so the hands are inside the left leg. My goal then on the way back is to basically like keep that. Yeah. So I'm still feeling like 60, 40, just kind of staying centered. Right. But now as soon as I start my downswing, remember there's that wall up his leg. Yeah. And the wall on the side of your head. I want you to feel like if I'm still 60, 40 here, that you go 70, 80, 90. Okay. So I'm going to get all of me going much more forward. I'm going to get the club head to hit the ground at or past that stick. And I want to hit a couple where we really max out your arc and have the club head as far away from you as possible. Okay. When you come through, Owen, and for you guys watching this that get a little bit of a short arc, when you come through where the club gets rehinged a lot early, there's some benefits to this, but if I bring that back, notice how far above the ball the club is. Yeah. That's huh. an exaggerated example just to show yeah. you. If I were to have the longest arc, let's say where my thumbs point out towards the target, not up towards the sky, and the club head and my hands are as far away from me as possible, 
that would get the club head the lowest to the ground, which would help with hitting the turf. Huh. Okay. So the sort of like outline here is start with the hands and weight forward, keep them there, move it more there, then hit the ground, lengthen the arc. Okay. Weight forward, hit the ground, lengthen the arc like this. Does that make sense conceptually? Yeah. Let's talk about how to actually do it first. Now, before we dive into that, when you guys are doing that too in the beginning for solidness of contact, we're hitting, we have like a pitching wedge arrow in. Yeah. So pitching wedge nine iron in the beginning of this to get the contact, we'll start with sort of short and slow and build up speed. Feel the weight a little forward, feel the hand a little bit forward. You're basically just trying to stay centered on the way back, but then you're moving everything forward when you start down. In a real swing, the head will move a little bit forward, kind of stay where it is, but the lower body is going to move way forward. But in the beginning of doing it, let everything go forward. Make sure you hit the ground every time and you really lengthen out that arc in the follow through. Once we can do that with a half swing, then we can take them into longer full swings. Okay, so let's try and apply that there for a second. We'd like to thank our partners at ShotScope for sponsoring today's video. You know that I always preach what? Feedback, feedback, feedback. You need feedback to improve your swing. Well, guess what? When you go out into the golf course, you need that same exact feedback. ShotScope are leaders in GPS, shot tracking, and rangefinder technology. You gotta look at some data and figure out where you're actually going off to build a solid plan to improve. Another thing that I love about ShotScope is they have options for everyone. Whether you just want GPS distances on the course, a great value but high performing rangefinder, or want to dive into your data, ShotScope has a product for everyone. With the purchase of a performance tracking device, golfers gain free access to the ShotScope mobile app and web dashboard containing over 100 tour level statistics. Whether you want just the distance to the hole or you like all the stats that they have on there, ShotScope literally has something for everyone. We'll take a setup as if we have a ball kind of right where those little holes are on the mat. Okay. So you take a setup there where you feel comfortable. Then I'm going to kind of move you around. You just do your normal. Yeah, so this is kind of your normal, right? I'd say you're kind of 50-50 with your uh, weight. Yeah. And the handle's almost, let's say, kind of straight up and downish. Right. So let's get this feeling like it's forward. Okay. So now the hands are inside the left thigh. And let's give me like you feel like there's about 60. There you go. Boom. So 70, 80, 90, maybe a little bit too much in the beginning. Maybe 60%. Okay. Now your shaft is leaning forward and your weight's forward. Now that doesn't guarantee anything, right? but it increases the odds of. And I'm gonna let you uh, take a picture so you can see what you look like. So that's where you are, just so you can see. See how oh, the, yeah. kind of the shaft and arm are like one line and your weight's just a little bit forward. Yeah. It always gonna like feel like a lot yeah, and then it end up being like... a little, yeah, in the beginning. Okay. Now I show that to show you now, that felt like a lot, but was only a little. Yeah. So that in a minute, when I ask you to shift forward, it has to feel like you're shifting an unbelievable like, amount yeah. okay. for us just to move a little bit, yeah? All right. Let's get into that good setup one more time. And with all these things, guys, got to feel like a lot in the beginning to move a little bit. That's where a good coach or good video, right, can help with that. So we're here, handle forward, weight forward. Beautiful job. Just do me a little favor with this and uh, let's take your toes and just flare them out like this a little bit. Cool. Now, what I'd like you to do from there is make a backswing to about left arm parallel and feel like you keep 60% of your weight in your quad. You're pretty okay. good right there. Yeah. Now, from this spot, I want you to feel like you go from 60 to 70, 80, 90. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So all of you is like, holy cow, Eric, I feel like I'm leaning way forward. Yeah. Right? Reset your setup again. So setup is hands forward, weight forward. Good. Backswing is just stay with the weight forward. Go back to that left arm parallel and pause. And then to start down, get everything moving more towards me. Bingo. Exactly. Let's do that one more time. So we'll do a couple of these just to isolate the movement where you only feel the weight shift. Hands forward, weight, flare the feet a little bit. That a baby. Awesome job. Go back to left arm parallel and pause so you can really, really feel the motion. Get everything down. Awesome job. Beautiful. So see how we did a couple with no arm swing yet just to feel the body motion. Now, let me demo one here, bub. Okay. Let's switch spots for a second. Oh, and you go right in that 45 again. So just to feel this in the beginning, we're like, all right, we feel handle and weight forward. I feel like we're staying there and everything's going this way. Now, on those couple we did, it was just body. Right. If I had like a scale underneath my foot, I'm going 60% to like 70, 80, 90. Okay. Like I'm increasing that weight there. Now, on these next couple, we'll do two or three. I want you to do the same thing. But now let's let the arms come down as well. Okay. And let's get the club head to hit the mat. So it's handle forward, weight forward, stay there. I'm going to feel my body going down and forward. I'm going to let the arms clip the mat. 
and work into the follow through. Okay. Let's try. So one or two or three where you're just feeling the body and isolating that. And then we'll put the arms in. We gotta make sure we hit the turf when we do this every time. So our cues are hands forward, weight forward. Excellent job, feet are flared, beautiful. Back to left arm parallel, weight forward and arms down. Yeah, huh? Ooh. Good. And it takes one or two to do it. Like when I'm doing it, obviously I've been doing this for 20 years and it looks and feels like easy to hit the mat, but sometimes you gotta really put a cue in on your brain to like hit the turf on purpose. That was better, do that again. So the hands are forward, weight is forward, beauty. Back to left arm parallel, weight forward, arms down. Awesome job. Let's do that one more again. And now we're gonna do a bunch of these and we're gonna slowly, I'm gonna put some different cues in, right? Like sort of adjust little tiny pieces here. But you keep the big macro pieces. Awesome. If we could do one more on the next one, Owen, and then no matter how it feels, hold your finish like you're going to pose it for like 10 seconds. Okay. Really good job with everything. Handles forward, weights forward, feet are flared. Beautiful. We're going to stay forward. Awesome. Beautiful. Let's stay right there. So now what I want you to do from here is I want you to feel like this club head is as far away from you as you can get it. Okay. If we were to measure like club head to your chest, let's say. So anytime we go like this, that obviously is closer. closer, yeah. Increase the odds of thins and tops. Farther away, kind of thumbs down or thumb towards the target like this. This is fully like, so I'm keep your hands in there. Okay. So I'm gonna pull towards me, you kind of hold back a little bit. Yeah, like feel that stretch. This is what this should feel like in the follow through. Okay. So very, very stretched out. Okay. Beautiful job. Let's do one or two, same sort of thing. So you keep the same macro cues, right? When you're trying to improve something. Same setup, handle forward, wait for it, beautiful. Stay there on the way back, move more forward. Yeah, beautiful job. Now you're gonna to start to see as you're watching this, the motion's gonna to start to change. You're gonna start getting some of the pieces and you can clean up some of the details as you go, but you gotta get the macro pieces. Awesome. Now, Owen, we're gonna do one more. I'm gonna record this one. Okay. So you can see what you look like. You're gonna like the way you look. All right. Insert commercial. <laughs> and the key for this part of feedback when you're doing it is you wanna be able to see what it actually looks like compared to what it feels like. Because right now, Owen should be feeling, and you're gonna feel if you do this, holy cow, I'm doing these a lot. And then you're gonna look on video and be like, not really, I'm doing them the right amount, they're really, really good. But so that you can sell your brain on that. Right. That's the right amount, right? So you go ahead and do one more. Same cues. So handle forward, wait forward, beauty. We're gonna stay forward, clip it into a follow through. Awesome, go ahead and relax. So just so you can see, so, when we have the weight forward at setup, yeah. I don't want your upper body to go as much with it. Okay. It's more just lower body. We'll talk through that. Beautiful job with the handle location. Now, when we come back from there to here, you're going to notice, okay, I'm much more forward in this one yeah. on, on purpose. But watch now from here, when you start down, see how you actually shift now. Oh, yeah. So now you're way more forward. The after one, if we look at this, here's your normal, much more back. Yeah. Oh, wow. Right, big difference. Yeah. Now we're doing everything to move you forward more exciting, right. which is the goal, but that's at club last parallel, much different. So when we would get into like an impact position, obviously we got to square the face, but yeah. that's where our body would be compared to there. So the body's much more forward. Oh yeah. Over exaggerated on purpose. And then when we bring that into a follow through, there's where the width comes in compared to our normal. <laughs> See the difference there? <laughs> yeah. So here's what I'd like to do. Let's flip flop spots one more time. Okay. And we're gonna to start to hit. So when you're doing your drilling and practicing, you know, I like short and sweet practice sessions. Right. So like, you know, 20 to 30 reps type of thing. I would go in here like this, take my setup, hands forward, weight. Now watch as I do my weight forward. More lower body. More lower, okay. Versus whole body. Okay. Right, so one little tweak there. So I'm going here, it's more lower body forward my upper body's still tilted away from the target a little bit. Okay. I'll show you how to do that. Handle forward, weight forward. I'm gonna stay there. I'm gonna pump my weight forward once or twice to get the feel of that. Feel the same thing. Let the arms fall into extension. Okay. So I'm gonna do this you know, once or twice just to feel, I'm gonna take that pause out. Really feel me going this way. Let my arms slink through. And when I hit this first shot, Owen, this is how I want you guys to practice as well. I'm gonna take the pause out I'm gonna feel like I go from arms parallel to arms parallel. Okay. 50% speed and try and really exaggerate all the pieces. Right. The best I can. Knowing that as soon as I hit a ball, they're gonna decrease a little. That's okay, I wanna exaggerate. Hands forward, weight forward. I'm gonna go back, keep them forward on the way back. 
go more forward, long arc follow through. And so that shot, solid contact, right? That's about as far as I'd ever want you to hit that. I didn't even want to go that far. Right. Even a little bit maybe shorter and slower than that, but that sort of swing length okay. is what we're shooting for, okay? All right. Let's give it hell. So your job at setup is hands forward, and then here, here's the weight forward part. So let's get your weight forward without your head going forward with it. The, yeah, good. So that, like e that. even there's plenty. Okay. So even like right here, that's good right there. Okay. Awesome. Stay forward on the way back, move more forward on the way down. Awesome. A little bit more mat interaction. Okay. And longer arc in the follow through. Okay. Good. More mat interaction, still longer arc in the follow through. Let's re hinging. Awesome. Beautiful job on that one. Let's do that with a ball. Okay. So now we're not going full swing. You're just doing that same length. Half swing. No pause on this one, but feeling the same pieces. So weight forward, hands forward. Good. Move your weight forward on the way down, long arc follow through. Weight forward on the way down, long arc follow through. Beautiful. That's how we do it. So that was the first non-top so far. Yeah. Agreed? Yeah, that definitely was more... More solid Ball contact in the warm-up shots. Okay, let's do that again. Really nice job there, man. Wait for it. Get, awesome. Wait more forward on the way down. Long arc follow through. Beautiful. How'd that feel? That felt great. Come on. Awesome. So I'll show you this here so you can see. Nice job there, dude. Thank you. So that's the piece. You can see when you do those, that's going to help remove those tops. Right. Moving your weight forward moves the the low point, like where the club's going to bottom out and hit the ground more forward. Yeah. That allows the club head to be going down the ball descending versus your, your ascending right. when you're doing your top shots. So here's your last one. Like that looks damn good. Yeah. But even notice from here, you're not moving as far forward with your weight as it feels like. Yeah. It's still much better. Like from here, if we were looking at our normal ones, you're still moving. You're not moving back. My, my phone's moving. <laughs> but you're moving your hips forward. Right. Like that's that right there is money, dude. Yeah. Really good. Let's do a couple more like that. Am I still coming up to hinging this way? Yeah. It's like in a real swing. Yeah. Eventually you, you will hinge. Right. But if we know for you, the tendency is like a little bit too close to you and a little bit too hingy. You want to feel like that stays wide. Okay. As far away. Kind of for a long time. Okay. Yeah. That was really good. One or two little practice swings. Let's feel that same sort of stuff. Back to left arm parallel. Awesome. Yeah, good. Feel even more weight moving forward. Okay. Even more, more weight in the lower body moving forward on the way down. Really good job, dude. Awesome. Yeah, good. Keep that long arc follow through. Okay. Very nice. So same thing when you guys want to hit the ground, like the better you do each one of these things, the better it's going to be. The weight being forward and the long arc, right? The weight being forward. Go ahead and do one when you're ready. Okay, now... That's you, now, watch your follow through. Yeah. Re hinging up like this. Okay. Weight still a little bit too far back. Okay. So, when you do that, when you practice and you get one like your old pattern, I would do one practice swing and then do one with a ball. Okay. On this one, really feel your weight forward. Really make sure the club hits the turf and really get the long arc in the follow through. That's a key point, too, when you guys are practicing this. If you hit one like your old pattern or a bad one, as you're practicing, don't go in and change anything else. Go back in and do the stuff you're working on better. The weight going forward moves the low point forward. The long arc follow through. Uh, nope, that follow through is too narrow. Too the narrow? Yep, let's do that again. Do that and hold your finish. The long arc follow through helps get the club head lower to the turf. Yeah, nice. So I'm really, okay. Yeah, yeah. So like your thumbs are going to feel like they're more kind of down towards the ground okay. compared to up towards the sky. And that club's really far away from you. Okay. Let's do another practice one. You're crushing the setup. That looks good every time. Feet are flared. Handle forward. Wait for a beautiful job. Stay centered on the way back. Move way forward to start down. Yeah, beauty. Awesome. Let's do that with a ball. Nice job, dude. Same pieces. Handle forward. Yeah, nice. Awesome. Oh, beauty. 
Now, like those sort of shots we get where they're solid and straight. Yeah. We have to feel like we're doing these in practice in these like half swings yeah. first and really own that. And then from there, eventually, like how you guys take this to the next level, obviously you can just go a little longer back, but instead of stopping at that spot, you feel like you make a full swing and you get through that spot. Let me demo demonstrate one of those for a second. So let's say we're practicing like this. We're doing the motion and we're going to pause here where the arms are straight and the butt of the club is uh, club heads fully away. Right. So when I practice here first, fully away, this is my practice swing. Now, if I want to say, Hey, how do I swing full from there? I'm going to do that. Feel like I get through that spot here. Yeah. And then I can then I can just let it fold up. Okay. But I'm still going to feel like when I hit my full swing, like I'm the same thing. Set up the weights forward, handles forward. I'm going to move down and forward much more. And I'm going to feel like I get through that long arc follow through. So see how I took that into a full swing? Yeah. But it felt like I went here and then I went up. Right. Instead of it being this way. Yeah. So it's not as though you need to do anything like different or whatever for your full swing. You just have to go through there. Okay. Let's do one or two practice swings together. All right. So we're going to do it kind of like we did in the beginning where I'm going to stand here, go back to about left arm parallel, and then get everything working towards me. Yeah. Feel how much that is? Yeah. Good. Let's do that again. Everything towards me. Beautiful. One more time. And when you guys are doing this, you can use like a wall or like a chair or something like this. And from the top of the swing, what you want to feel, what Owen wants to feel is the shoulder, this torso, this, all this, everything's working forward. Now, eventually when he swings, the head won't go that far forward with it. Right. But in the beginning, you feel everything go with it. Okay. And then take that same feel and give me that with a long arc follow through. Okay. Same thing. Beauty. Yeah, dude. Really good. Show me that with the ball. Nice. Great job with the setup. Awesome. That's how you get rid of tops and thins, dude. All right.